Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5070311 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to type in services in Windows search box. Go to services. Find app readiness over here. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK, make a right click on App Readiness, click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service, make a double click, again set this to Automatic. Click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted. Now make a right click on Background Intelligent and then click on Restart. Now find Windows Update, scroll down, here you can see Windows Update, make a double click, again set this to Automatic. Click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK and then again make a right click over here, click on Restart. Now you can try to update, still not working, you can go to Windows Settings, go to Windows Update, here you can see uh, Pause Update option, so you can click on Pause over here. And once paused, now click on Resume Updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on Command Prompt tab. Make sure that you open Command Prompt as an administrator only. Click on Yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the Enter key. Now this will take some time, it will run a scan, once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete over here, restart again. can And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update that is KV5070311 and then click on search. Now, let me change the language over here. Now, first of all, you have to check the Windows version. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box and then click on Winver run command. Now, over here, in my case, the version is 25H2. So this is the version. In my case, version 25H2. Now, check the system type. Open Windows settings. Go to system and then scroll down. Go to about option at the bottom. And over here, you will see the system type. Here you can see system type. For me, it's 64-bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11, Windows 11 version 25H2, Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So click on download as per your system. And then over here, you will see KB5070311. Click on it and then run this file. Click on it, let the update, let the download complete, then click on it, follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually. So after the installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update option. For this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update and then go to Advanced option over here. Scroll down, click on Recovery. Over here, you can see the option which says fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And after this is complete, it will ask you to restart your computer. So restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file so you have to run this exe file run the exe file and then click on accept over here 
and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on, click on next select iso file over here click on next save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete you will see this screen click on finish over here and let this close automatically this will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to close so let it close automatically do not close this manually once done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept over here and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel